logo D. So, man, that's really disappointing. This isn't working. It worked last time, but man, yeah, okay. I'm just a dummy. Hey, hey, D, what's up? Okay, so I guess my question. So, are you? My, I guess my question is, are you like trying to argue that being vegan is better than 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 eating like you know not being you know not being vegan? Oh uh, yeah, I just I just think non-veganism is immoral. I think purchasing animal products from the store is immoral. I see it as a rights violation and unjustifiable. And I and I would uh, substantiate it through basically a logical consistency check called name the trait. So, um, basically it goes like this. Um, I'm guessing you're not vegan. No, I'm not vegan. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing you find it morally justified to farm animals, slit their throats, turn them into cheeseburgers. Uh, yeah, man. So, I mean, honestly, dude, check this out, dude. So I've worked on a fairly decent sized cattle ranch. And I mean, so I'm not like, I'm not coming in to judge you at all. Um, you know, just freaking kind of get your opinion, man. And just kind of get a little bit of a kind of, I guess, a different outlook yeah. on, um, you know, why, you know, why, why, you know, you choose the vegan shit. But, um, <laughs> I worked on a fairly large cattle ranch, man. Um, and as a kid, I did too, believe it or not. Okay, cool. Freaking, um, one second. Anyways, and so, and as a kid, man, it was like kind of my biggest dream to work on a, on a big cattle ranch like that. And, um, you know, I just, you know, so it's just the lifestyle itself is, is, is a huge dream to a lot of people. You know what I mean? And, and to be able to go live that dream. Like the, I mean, I'm, I literally like we ran a million or twenty thousand head of cattle on a million acres, dude. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I do understand it's a dream to a lot of people. I have, um, like I said, I worked on a dairy farm when I was in high school, and um, I have buddies who one buddy is a beef uh, rancher and my other buddy is a dairy farmer. So um, I do, I do know that people really get into that lifestyle, and I, and I understand it. Farming, I mean, it takes up a lot of your life. It, it takes up a lot of hours. So if you're gonna get into that lifestyle, like. You're gonna have to enjoy it, otherwise you're gonna like want to unalive yourself, right? <laughs> right, right. Um. So I guess my question: So why do you think that it's morally wrong to to eat to eat animals? Yeah. So, um, like I, I establish it usually through a logical consistency check. It's called the name the trait. Basically, I see no morally relevant difference between humans and animals that justifies farming animals and slitting their throats, but not humans. Now, when I say this, people get confused and they think. Oh, he thinks animals and humans are the same. I absolutely do not think that. I do think humans are far more important than animals. I just think both are of sufficient importance to not have their throat slit for a cheeseburger. So in the same way, I think a $3 bill and a $5 bill are both of sufficient value to buy something worth $1. I still think the $5 bill is um, worth more than the $3 bill. Does that make sense? So I yeah. think humans are more important. I just think both are of sufficient moral value to not be uh, farmed and turned into cheeseburgers. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I guess here's your question. So is what I mean. So is what your biggest is is your biggest struggle with uh, eating meat or you know like the butcher industry? Is it because of how relatively inhumane that they do get butchered? I mean, obviously that's one factor, right? Like if you were to give me two farms a uh we'll say like local free range farm whatever and like a factory farm obviously i'm going to be like yeah I, I think the local free range farm whatever is um better than the factory farm right but i still think the local free range farm is inhumane because at the end of the day we're still farming these animals for our profit we're still sending them to the same slaughterhouse where they'll be bolt gunned in the head and have their throat slit at usually four to six years old which is about a fifth of their otherwise um lifespan right okay so here, here's my only deal. So, you know, we had a big farming operation on the on the ranch, and we actually fed. It was all for silage that we fed to the cattle, man. And my brother actually worked for the farm crew. And while when you are when you are farming, dude, you know how many rabbits and snakes and mice and squirrels and baby birds and shit like that that you're killing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm yeah, I'm well aware of it. So. There's, so there's a few things, right? So one, like most crops are fed to livestock, like uh, according to one study, it takes 13 kilograms of crops just to make one kilogram of meat. 
Um, according to a large study by Joseph Poor, if we were to switch to a vegan diet, we would reduce global farmland by 75% because we wouldn't be growing as much crops to feed the animals that we eat. But uh, to uh, address what you're saying, I don't see that th that as a rights violation. What I care about as a vegan is rights violations. I'm against rights violations to sentient beings. And I think farmers should have every right to protect their uh, crops, to protect their food supply, right? In the same way, if I had a cockroach infestation in my house, and they were like eating my food and shit. I have every right to use lethal force to kill those cockroaches and get them out. In the same way, I think a farmer should have every right if he has like, you know, what would be the equivalent of a pest infestation in his cropland. He has every right to protect his uh, his property and his uh, food supply. Uh, do you do you not agree with that, or do you think do you agree? With I, that? I agree with that, but the, so the question yeah. is, is why is it that why why how come a mouse or a snake or a squirrel is less than to a cow? Yeah, see, so that's where you're confused. I don't think, uh, well, I might actually think they're less than, but only because they're less sentient. But I don't think that because, like, they're getting killed for crops, right? What The, the symmetry breaker here is I think it, it's justified to um, kill and protection of crops because I don't see it as a rights violation. It has nothing to do with the animal itself, right? It's because these uh, pest animals are eating your crops. And if you didn't protect your crops, they would wipe out our food supply and we wouldn't be able to feed the human race. So I see it as in every way justified. And I would think it would be insane to say it's not justified to have the right to protect your crops. Right. So it's not that I uh, have like have, have like like uh, discriminate between different animals. It's just that in this instance, I don't see this as a rights violation because I see it the same as protecting your property, protecting your food supply. And we can go back to the cockroach analogy. Like if you had a cockroach infestation, I think you have every right to protect your food supply. In the same way, I think a farmer has every right to protect his. So I just don't see it as a rights violation. Does that make sense what I'm saying or? Yeah, that does make sense. I just, I guess I'm just confused on why, why, how come, how come their lives, their, how come their lives don't matter so you can be able to grow your, grow your crops? Yeah, so that's just confusing my position again, right? It's not that their lives don't matter. It's that they're <clears throat> they're aggressing and invading upon your property and eating your crops. So at that point, you have the right to use lethal force to remove them from your property, right? It has nothing to do with the animal itself and everything to do with the rights violation, right? So let me put it to you this way. I think a lot of people get confused. They're like, oh, vegans are against all death of all animals. Well, no, that's not true because I'm not even against all death of all humans, right? For instance, if a human was like attacking you, you have every right to shoot and kill that human. There's instances where we can kill our humans. So I'm not against killing in a principle. I'm against killing that entails rights violations, right? So if we were farming humans, I would be against that instance of killing because I see that as a rights violation. In the same way that I think you have every right to protect your property, to protect your food supply, to protect your house, but I don't think you should have the right to farm sentient beings. So I see one as a rights violation and the other is not a rights violation. And I, can run, and I can run a logical consistency check, right? So, so it goes like this. And um, don't, you've been super chill, and I really appreciate it. So, like, don't get defensive or anything. Some people do. I'm, I'm going to try. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, we're just having a conversation, man. I feel like people yeah. get – people yeah. blow this shit way out of proportion. <laughs> yeah, I, I completely agree with you. And I, I actually really respect it when people come on um, respectful because nothing annoys me more than people just coming on and being toxic and bad face. So I hope that you think I'm doing – I'm giving you the same respect. Yeah, um, no, absolutely. Cool. So the check just goes like this, basically. So, I mean, obviously, you like you're a cool with farming animals. I get it. Like you grew up in that lifestyle, right? I was the same way. Um, and then obviously, I would assume that you would be against um, farming humans if we were doing the same thing to humans, like farming them for cheeseburgers or whatever. So the question <laughs> yeah. goes like this: It's basically like, what is the difference between the animal and the human? that justifies farming animals and turning them into cheeseburgers, but not humans. So like some people will say like intelligence, like, oh, well, because animals are less intelligent than us, it is therefore justified to farm them and kill them. But to remain logically consistent on that, you would have to say, okay, well, if there was a human with the same level of intelligence of an animal, would it now be okay to farm them? And obviously most people are gonna say that's wrong. So basically that what I'm asking is like, what to you is the difference between animals and humans that justifies farming animals, but not humans? Well, the, I, the fact that they're human, like whatever trait you yeah, want. Yeah, so, I mean, I would say that animals, you know, were they were put here to, to provide for us. You know, they were put here, you know, initially, dude, animals were put here kind of, you know, in, in, in the food chain of things, you know what I mean? For the, you know, we didn't obviously, you know, 250 years ago, 300 years ago, plus, you know, we didn't have large meat markets, large feedlots, you know, everything just kind of roamed wild. So we were able to just kind of, 
you know, pick and choose, but without having this big, you know, this big feedlot, um, you know what I mean? So I believe that animals were put here, you know, in a, in a food chain for people, for other animals, wolves, you know, predators, um, you know, and so they're, they're in a food chain, you know, just, just as everything else is the wild corn, the onion, things that grow in the wild, you know what I mean? It's all in a food chain. Yeah, so so I don't know what you mean by uh, put here because to me, when somebody says like they were put here, that like describes some sort of intentional state, like some. So when you say they were put here for us, do you just mean that like um like you know, however many years ago, thousands of years ago, people? Just yeah, I just like, mean you know like whatever higher power that you believe in that created oh, the earth or whatever. Okay. You know what I mean? Like you know. Yeah, so I so I'm I'm atheist. I don't believe in God, but if you do, that's fine. I, I'm totally cool with that. So basically, you're saying like you think a higher power put them here to farm. So the question. Uh, uh, back to that response would be you said the morally difference is morally relevant difference as you believe they were put here um, by God for us to eat. So if uh, God put humans here for us to eat, would you think that would be morally justified to farm humans, slit their throats and turn them into cheeseburgers? Well, I, I don't believe anybody put humans here to eat. Yeah, I mean, yeah, at technicality, I don't believe anybody right. really put right, humans right. on earth to live, oh, you I know, mean, to live in the society that we live, you know, I believe that we're well, supposed to kind of yeah, live a more, a well, more open lifestyle. I, right? I don't think that you think that, but that's not the question. I'm not asking if you think that is the case. I'm just asking if it were the case, would you now find it morally justified to farm humans and like soak their throats and turn them into cheeseburgers? No. Okay. No. So that's gonna but be I don't a, think that people were put here to, 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 to to eat you know yeah, yeah so so i can just describe it to you real quick so that would be a contradiction in formal logic a contradiction is negating and affirming the same proposition p and not p meaning the morally relevant difference between humans and animals that justifies farming animals but not humans is and is not that they were put here for us so that's just gonna like um render a contradiction which which is fine like this this is a, it's a hard question dude i don't mean this to like press you i just mean this yeah. to show that i can't find a morally relevant difference and i haven't <laughs> found anybody that's put a good one to me yet either that's good all right dude well shit it was good chatting with you though hey bud i i seriously really appreciate you being respectful you don't understand like there's so much toxic like little like just immature people that come on so i appreciate it big dog all right cool man well you have a good one hey man rock and roll brother wait all right um is your tattoo ink vegan yeah it is uh, it's Eternal Ink, which is vegan and cruelty-free. Oh, dude, that sucks. My uh, headset isn't working. I don't know why it worked. Uh, it just worked the other day, and now it ain't working. Let me try it out one more time. Boom. Uh, dude, nature, animals in nature eat each other. Yeah, animals in nature do a lot of terrible things, right? Animals in nature, when they inherit a new pride, lions kill and eat children, right? That doesn't mean we're justified to kill and eat our own children just because lions do it. Um, animals in nature do tons of, like, horrendous things. We don't, like, base our morality off of, like, what animals do in nature. Lions, when they greet each other, like, bend down and sniff each other's arses. Hey. Like, I don't think people... Hey, what's up, bud? Hey, fuck yeah, my fucking headset's working. Thank God. Um, all right, what's up, Hector? Yeah. So, I'm definitely all for people eating what they want to eat. I mean... Cool, man. Not knocking you for being vegan. Um, cool. I just, I feel like animals are here to to eat. I mean, I don't see, I don't see the big deal with it. Um, I'm definitely against them being brutally uh, treated before they're slaughtered. Yeah. I would prefer a free, uh, you know, like a land where they're running around happy as hell and Oh, absolutely, dude. I and I would um, and I would prefer that too. But um, but, yeah. So I think um, nature wise, nature wise, like humans, we're civilized. We have intelligence. Mm -hmm. Um, so we can have these debates. We can have these discussions. Right. We don't. For the most part, animals aren't meeting up and talking about how much they hate us. But <laughs> they, some of them, some of them might think it. But hey. <laughs> yeah. So I think if we look at it from a natural standpoint, if we didn't have all of this it would none of this would matter we wouldn't know any better yep. we've developed feelings and have attached those feelings to ideologies of what's right and what's wrong yeah and if I, we and remove I, that yeah sorry sorry man i wasn't trying to interrupt you um and yeah and i and i agree with that right like if this were um hundreds of years ago i wouldn't be vegan right now hell no i just i would just be trying to survive i'd be killing animals left and right right 
I, I totally agree with that. Like, it would probably be impossible to be vegan, I, I mean, even even 100 years ago or more. But we are now, in today's age, we can be vegan. So we, I can use my thoughts and my intelligent thoughts and emotion to, like, make the more compassionate choice and do what I consider to be the right thing. So, like, we're talking about, like, free-range animals. Like, I absolutely think that's better than factory farms, right? But I still think it's wrong because at the end of the day, they're still being sent to the slaughterhouse. In the same way, like, I give my dogs, like, a great life. Like, I still won't see it justified to, like, just one day just, like, slit my dog's throat so I could eat them just because, like, I gave them a good life first. Right. And it does seem like now they are – it's it's like a mass production. You know, there's, there's a lot of yeah. – a lot more of that's going on. And I'm off – maybe we got to eat a little bit healthier. Maybe we got to go to more plant stuff. But I – we're not going to change the world and I don't see the world changing over, over this. I don't see everyone just saying, we're just going to stop eating meat. Oh, I can, buddy. I, I completely agree, dude. I have these conversations all the time and I run into some stubborn MFers, dude. Like I, I probably of anyone, I'm more than well aware. Like it's not changing anytime soon, but in the meantime, I am going to do my best. I am going to um, abstain from animal products. I'm going to do my best to like talk people into, if not going vegan, at least thinking about the next time they go to the store, maybe like picking a plant-based option every once in a while or more than they otherwise would have. Right. So I'm just going to uh, do what I can. Yeah, I had a vegan lasagna. I wasn't too fond at first, and I got to tell you, it actually surprised the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, dude. Well, here's the thing. Um, I, I have a theory. To be clear, some vegan food is shit, especially the cheeses. Yeah. Some of the cheeses are pretty bad, even though they are getting better. There are some good ones. I think a lot of vegan food uh, can, tends to be like better than non-vegan food, and my theory for that is two things. One, like if you're eating non-vegan food, dude, all you have to do is put some fucking like queso and cream cheese on it. It's going to taste good. So like when you're making wow. vegan food, you have to be more creative. And two, like as a vegan myself, whenever I make vegan food for non-vegans, like I want them to like it because I want them to like vegan food. So I like try my best to make it as good as I can. So those are my like two theories to why like some vegan food I think is actually even better. So <laughs> I have one, one more question. So with the vegan stuff, um, is the food generally more expensive um, and affordable for somebody to say all right i want to give this shit a shot yeah so, so that's a good question a lot of people think it is and the, the reason they think it is because they look at the mock meats which can tend to be a little more pricier although not that much we're talking like 50 cents to a dollar at most but on as a overall it is far cheaper because think about it like all the cheapest foods available to us are vegan so like lentils beans legumes pasta oats potatoes tofu like all of these things are like far cheaper than meat and dairy so i think there was a study out of oxford that showed the vegan diet's like 33 percent cheaper so it is cheaper overall although obviously you'll be able to find vegan products that are more expensive than certain animal products just like you'll be able to find certain animal products that are more expensive than others right oh that's all i got man i appreciate you bringing me on no i appreciate you coming on buddy all right peace Man, I get a lot less viewers at this time of day, but the people are way more chill, so it's almost worth it. Who just asked if they can join? Uh, I just seen somebody say, can I join? Just Praxis. Yeah, I'll let you come on, buddy. I seen you ask. I usually go in order, but since I just happened to see you ask. Oh, you didn't request. I'm going to talk to Lori Praxis. If you want to send a request, I'll, uh, I'll accept you. I'll remember. <clears throat> Okay, so... Lori, what's up? Yeah, so I completely agree with, like, the animals have rights and they should be treated as such. It's cool. just the fact that, like, people assume that being vegan is actually better for the planet and it's better for the animals, but to grow those soybeans, to make that tofu, and to grow mm -hmm. all these greens... you All have to the moles, voles, snakes, yes. mice, yeah. rats that you have to protect your crops from? Yeah, you have, okay, yeah, cool. you have to kill yeah, everything. So yeah, so you brought up soy specifically, which is interesting because, like, per USDA, 70% of soy is grown to feed to livestock. So, like, if that's something you care about, that would actually be a stronger argument to go vegan, right? Due to the laws of thermodynamics, it's always going to take more crops to feed the animals that we eat than what we get out of them. So, that's actually a stronger argument for veganism. But I, uh, as far as, like, crop protection goes, I don't see this as a rights violation. I think we should have every right to protect our crops and protect our food supply. Um, do not in the same way like if we had a cockroach infestation I, that was like eating your food you should have every right to use lethal force against those cockroaches in the same way a farmer should have every right to use lethal force against pests invading his food supply um do you not think farmers should have the right to protect their crops 
Yeah. Oh, fully. Okay, cool. I so, so yeah. So you, so, so you agree. So I'm a vegan because I'm against rights violations to sentient beings, right? I don't see that as a rights violation. So we agree that's not a rights violation. What we probably disagree on is I'm guessing you think it's justified to farm animals. No, I think I think that humans as a whole, we've kind of lost our whole purpose of being on this earth. Like we're not here to like be social beings as we are, as like dressing to impress everybody and looking our best and like doing things because it's cool. We were put here to tend the earth and tending animals is also part of that. And naturally, meat is intended to be a small portion of our diet to sustain us through winter and times when green herbage is not available. But yeah. we lost sight of what we're here for. Yeah, so I don't I don't when you say like in intended like that to me implies intention which implies like some sentient being like being behind it and intending something for us which I don't take to be the case but just because something's natural doesn't mean it's good or bad right like we can look at tons of things that are natural that are bad like disease um disease is not necessarily natural uh I think there well depending on how you define depending on how you define natural I define natural as anything out of like human um human like hands basically so like there's certain diseases that uh, happen like outside of human hands that i would definitely consider natural and then um there's certain things that are good that are unnatural right like life-saving medication life-saving surgeries uh the houses that we live in with heat and air conditioning to keep us at the right temperatures throughout like the winter and summer like these things are all natural but th they're they're good right just because something's natural or unnatural doesn't tell us if it's good or bad um yeah, would, and well, i'm sorry these things are actually, in a sense, they're natural, but they're, these are not natural. Like our Western medicine, the healthcare system is not natural. We have okay, homeopathic so. herbs that fix mm -hmm. absolutely every ailment that we get. An ailment or a disease is just the dysfunction or dysregulation in your body. Yeah, so, so it's something that's caused. Yeah. So at this, so at this point, I have no idea what you mean by natural. If if you if you're saying that certain things that humans have done is natural, then I have no idea how you're using natural. So can you define natural for me and how you're using it? Nat natural would be just with without intervention of anything like a rock. Okay. So everything has intervention. So everything I just. So everything I just named had inter intervention. So everything I just named would be unnatural according to your very own definition. Yeah. But we yeah. we can yeah. So 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 yeah. So life saving medication, right? That's unnatural. It doesn't mean it's bad just because it's unnatural. That's well, as, as actually to have a, they have a fall. They have a name for this fallacy. It's called the appeal to nature fallacy, right? It's so common. Just because something's natural or unnatural doesn't right. You're on TikTok right now. You're on your phone. We're both probably in a house enjoying depending where you're at, heat or air conditioning to keep you um, like from getting worn on by the elements. We have life-saving medication. We have GMOs, which makes it so we can feed our entire population. We have transport, which makes it more viable for us to do research and come up with these life-saving medications and surgeries, right? Like we go against nature as humans. It doesn't, being, being natural tells us nothing if something's good or bad. But, um, but I feel like we've been on this point for a minute. So I can just sidestep this by asking you this, right? So you think it's um, natural to eat animals and that's why you think it's okay, correct? Or am I wrong to say that? I think in with, yes, it is natural to eat animals because we are the highest on the, um, the in the hierarchy. We are the most conscious. We are the most capable. Okay. We have certain abilities that they do not. That gives us yeah. dominion yeah, over so, plants, so we're supposed to tend it, not destroy cool. it. Cool. So... So you would say that the morally relevant difference between humans and animals that justifies farming animals but not humans is that we're of a higher consciousness. We're more sentient. We're more intelligent. Is that correct? We're capable. We're, capable. we're more capable we're of, of this thing. Yeah, yeah, we're more capable. So would you so would you agree then of my characterization of what you said that the morally relevant difference between humans and animals that justifies farming animals but not humans is that we're more capable, we're of a higher consciousness, we're more sentient. Would you agree that that's a accu accurate characterization of what you said? I mean, that's how we that's how we can allow it well, I'm, I'm just asking you a simple yes or no question. Is that, is yeah. that an act? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, so now, so now if we were to find a human that was as capable, as rational, as conscious, as intelligent as an animal, would you now be fine with um, farming that person, slitting their throat and turning them into a cheeseburger? That, that's not even a similar. Oh, uh, that, well, the question, the, the, the question wasn't if you think it's similar or not. The question was if you think that, if you think that would be justified or not. 
that I mean that's kind of, that's definitely a baiting question, but no, you cannot. No, okay, so yes, so I agree. That's not. I agree. I agree with you. That's not justified. However, with the traits that you named, that would end in a contradiction on your end, meaning the morally relevant difference between humans and animals that justifies farming animals but not humans, is and is not intelligence, consciousness, and capability. Right. So that's negating and affirming the same proposition, p and not p, which is what a contradiction is in formal logic. And I know like you're gonna think I'm like trying to like be a d bag and like oh gotcha. I swear I'm not trying to do that. I only ask these questions to demonstrate like I really don't think there's a morally relevant difference between humans and animals that justifies farming animals but not humans because at the end of the day I think animals have all the things that we care about to give them a uh, moral consideration to not be farmed. They have preferences, desires, they experience well-being, suffering, pain, all these things. Yes, absolutely, but they do not cool. have the capability in the world to do anything about it and we are the sentient beings that are meant to mm -hmm. kind of control I, everything. And and yep. we're we're messing it up. We're not. We're and I, and I and I and I agree with you that they're not capable. They're not capable like we are, right? But we already went over this. I already asked you if we could find humans that were as capable as animals. Would it be justified to farm them? And you said no, which ended in a contradiction. So that so that's Everything. not that's not that's not like a morally relevant difference that would justify farming animals and slitting their throats and turning them into cheeseburgers. That, but I don't. I don't agree with the mass farming. I believe that. Yeah, that's good. I, I don't either. Every individual person should be self-sufficient, and GMO is the cause of cancers and the diseases that we're seeing in our current civilization. Well, I don't think there's anything uh, to show that, but that doesn't. You're that's that's yeah. that's getting away from the question, right? So. So you so now so now you say that factory farming is bad, which is good. I you know I think most people say this, which is interesting to me because most people will say factory farming is bad, yet 99% of meat comes from factory farm, meaning 99% of people do support factory farms. I always find that interesting. I'm not accusing you of this. I, yeah. I'm just saying I just find that weird. But uh, so that that implies to me though that you think like um like free range uh like uh local farms are like um morally justified, correct? Well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I don't I don't believe in any necessary sort of farming of animals. Like if 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 we were to not have intervened so much, all of these animals would naturally be just living in our habitats and we could go out and hunt them and they do not know you're there until they are already in the process of dying. So there yeah. is there is no inhumanity or anything. It is just a process of life and life is death. You see carnivores mm -hmm. out in the wilderness eating animals alive right 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 but you suffering. you wouldn't say you wouldn't say life is death justifies farming humans right but you're saying life is death somehow justifies farming animals so i'm just going to ask you again what is the morally relevant difference between humans and animals that justifies farming animals slitting their throats and turning them to cheeseburgers but not doing the same to humans because in one case you're saying it's okay to do it to animals but it's not okay to do it to humans so that means there's a difference between animals and humans that makes it justified to farm animals and slit their throats, but not humans. So what is that difference between animals and humans that justifies it in the animal case, but not the human case? We've DNA. already went... DNA. 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 Oh, okay, cool. That, that's actually, that's a good answer. So now my um, response to that would be if your neighbor took a DNA... No, no, well, let me get, let me get this uh, further. You're saying that because we have human DNA, correct? It's not because they, like, they don't have human DNA. We have human yes, DNA. Yes, it, it's yeah, a different okay. species. Yeah, cool. Yep. Okay. So, so now my question to that would be if your neighbor took a DNA test and their DNA came back to be outside of the human genome, would it now be okay to slit your neighbor's throat because they don't have the same DNA as you? That's impossible because humans could not. Well, well, if, well, if you're going to claim that's impossible, impossible um, means there's a contradiction entailed. So can you um, give me the contradiction, the proposition that is both affirmed and negated by, um, by, a human ta by, by your neighbor taking a DNA test and it coming outside of the human genome? You, you, humans cannot naturally without intervention. That's just, that's just restating the claim. I want the, I want the contradiction because you claim that is impossible. Impossible means to me that it's impossible under some modality, right? So a logical modality would mean that there's a contradiction entailed. If there's no contradiction entailed, then it is possible, right? Impossible means something can't happen. The only way something is impossible is through a contradiction. So what is the contradiction, meaning the proposition, the truth app statement, which is both affirmed and negated by your neighbor taking a DNA test and it coming back outside of the human genome? Humans cannot reproduce with that's just other... Re that's not giving me a proposition. <laughs> a proposition is P and not P. So, so I'll just ask again. If your neighbor took a DNA test and it was outside of the human genome, would it be okay to slit their throat and farm them? Yes or no? 
in your definition no problem? no no i'm asking you i'm asking you would it be morally justified to you to slit your neighbor's throat and turn them into a cheeseburger if they took a dna test and it came outside of the human genome yes or no but asking an ethical question that's not answering my question right i'm asking that's you a yes impossible. or no i'm asking you a, i'm asking you a yes or no question if your neighbor took a dna test and it came back to be outside of the human genome would it be okay to slit their throat and turn them into a cheeseburger yes or no in my opinion or in yes, a cannibal in, yeah opinion? no in your in your opinion i'm asking in you in your opinion? yeah no you cannot okay eat. so so that's going to be so that's going to end up in another contradiction right meaning the morally relevant difference between animals and humans that justifies farming animals slitting their throats and turning them into cheeseburgers but not humans is and is not having human dna so that's just affirming and negating the same proposition again which is just another contradiction which okay, no. look, look. I understand these questions are hard. Not a lot of people I think about you them. You use arguments, and you like to use large words and words consistently. I'm just using the laws of logic, to right? Use people. Oh okay. no, I'm just using the laws of logic. No, I, I, I have had many conversations with this. Do you do you concede that do you can well I, I'm just using the laws of logic right propositional logic of contradiction well, you're also, you're a contradiction also is a contradiction is affirming and negating the same proposition right p and not p that's what a contradiction is it's the laws of logic maybe you don't abide by the laws of logic and that's fine but at that point well, I just rest I, my case um, I understand but you're, so do you you're... can so do you can see so do you concede that you just contradicted yourself I, I formalized the contradiction and everything. I, I do not see where I've contradicted myself. Please okay, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll explain, I'll explain it to you. So I asked you the morally relevant difference between humans and animals that justify slitting animals' throats for, for cheeseburgers, but not humans. You said having human DNA. So I said if your neighbor took a DNA test and it came back to be outside of the human genome, would it now be okay to slit your neighbor's throat and turn them into a cheeseburger? You said no, leaving you to affirm and negate the same proposition, meaning the morally relevant difference between humans and animals that justifies farming animals for food, but not humans, is and is not having human G DNA. So that's a contradiction. But so do you, so but do you, now that I've formalized, I've walked you through every step, yes, I've formalized the contradiction. I see, I see what okay. you're saying. Okay, cool. It okay. has no relevancy and no standing, no weight because, well, it, does because it does it, not it, exist. You cannot have a human oh, I, I'm, not have human DNA. So that is I'm not, not well. I'm not. I'm not claiming. My 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 claim isn't that it does exist, right? My claiming my claim is that if it did exist, would you think it's um, morally justified to slit your neighbor's throat? And you said no, which leads you to a contradiction, which shows your position to be false. But that that ha that can't be used to discredit the argument if it's a complete just, well, false. Well, it is because it well because it shows that your uh, position is incoherent, right? It shows that it's false, right? If your no, position my, contains my position. if your position contains a contradiction, that means your position is false. A contradiction is by definition impossible. So your your position is impossible. You are affirming and negating the same proposition, which renders your um, position impossible. It's not it's not possible. There's a contradiction. That's what contradictions are. But yours is also impossible. So my, how? My, we, wait, wait, wait! My my position's impossible. I we, haven't even we, given we, you no. any positions, right? We're, we're we, testing. We're testing your. We're testing your logical consistency right now, and see if you, you no. can remain logically consistent in negating animals the right to not be farmed, but not humans. And you can't. Your position ends up in a contradiction, and I've explained the contradiction to you multiple times. You said the morally relevant difference between humans and animals is having human DNA. I said if your neighbor took a DNA test and it was outside of the human genome, would it be okay to slit their throat and turn them into a cheeseburger? You said no, meaning the morally relevant difference between humans and animals is and is not having human DNA, leading you to a contradiction, affirming and negating the same proposition which is what a contradiction is which is impossible so your position against veganism is impossible it is false but if you were to but that that adds in an entire another aspect of someone's willingness to consume human dna that 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 no i'm just asking you i'm asking you i'm asking you i'm asking you i'm asking you your moral system right and according to your very own moral system your position against veganism is impossible. I showed it to be false through a logical contradiction, the affirming and negating the same proposition. So it's just impossible. Um, I, so okay, yeah, I, I can justify eating animal products for the fact of humans have dominion over the planet. We control absolutely everything mm -hmm. that is in our 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I agree. We control everything. So you say that that justifies farming animals for food, but you say it doesn't justify farming no, humans for food. Not, so what is the morally food. relevant difference between humans and animals that justifies farming animals and turning them into a cheeseburger, but not humans? We're back at square one. What is the difference? I never said farming animals. That That's a different moral. Oh, so, oh, oh, so, you, so you agree that farming animals is immoral then? I never said that it was not. I, I fully agree that. Oh, animals okay, cool. Are so, so we're on, so we're, so we're on the same page. Farming <laughs> animals yeah. is immoral. Okay, cool. Yes, but eating right. them is well. Okay. We'll go on to the next person. I appreciate the talk. Um, I agree. Farming animals is immoral. So, we'll go to. <clears throat> oh, this might be my last one, guys. We'll, we'll see though. Um, fem -em 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 check. Okay, so this person's not loading in. They taste good. Yeah, if a cannibal thought you taste good, does that make does that mean it's morally justified for a cannibal to slit your throat and eat you? I would think not, right? Just because you drive sensory pleasure from something doesn't justify the action. I'm Hi, sorry. can you hear me? Yes, yeah, Sarah, I can hear you really good. What's up? Yeah, so I just kind of want to have a discussion because I like I totally see why you're vegan, cool. um, and why. Basically, okay, hold on, sorry, I'm trying to get my thought process together. You're, you're good. It can be really nerve-wracking coming on a live, especially when like a thousand people are watching. I totally understand. Oh, jeez, I didn't even realize a thousand people were here. Um, but Sorry, I probably just made it worse for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and this is my second time ever going on live. Yeah. So, um, anyway, so I am a vet student, and okay. um, I do eat meat, but okay. I totally see your grounds for being, being vegan because – like the state of factory farming in America right now and how it has been for the past how, uh, however many years, it's disgusting and atrocious. The way mm -hmm. that they treat these animals is not, it's not ethical. It's not moral to consume the meats of these animals who have been treated so poorly their entirety of their lives. But my um, counter to that is through having like discussions with a lot of my students, I mean my students, my fellow students, um, and <laughs> my and my professors, I kind of have a better aspect on the concept of like hunting your own food and um, using the meat in all of the ways that you can. Like, do not waste the animal, do not waste the product. Like, mm -hmm. if you're actively going out and hunting in an ethically moral way and you're not putting those animals through suffering in any way possible because as a good hunter, it should be just one and done, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... People, yeah, like I think that that is mm -hmm. the only proper and ethical way to consume your meat is to make sure that you're getting it from a good source, if that makes sense. Yeah, so, um, so did you want to talk about hunting then? I'm probably a pretty good person to talk about hunting. My name is actually Hunter. I grew up in a hunting <laughs> family. I, I have deer antlers tattooed on me. I, I used to hunt the yeah, before I went okay. vegan. So uh, do you want to talk about hunting or do you want to talk about, I'm sure there's some like happy, like maybe local free range farms that you think is okay to buy from. Um, what one do you want to talk about? We can talk about either. It's totally up to you. Um, I mean, as for hunting, like, what do you want to talk about? Like the yeah. morality of that? Like just, yeah, if, yeah. If you want to, like yeah, again, sure. okay, cool. Um, so, so basically I look at it like this. I'm, I don't know if you heard my conversation with the last girl or not, but, um, okay. No, it's all good. So basically I see no morally relevant difference between humans and animals that would justify hunting animals but not humans. And so that is, a lot of people get confused when I say that. They think, oh, you think humans or animals are both um, of equal importance. That's not at all what I think. I think humans are more important than animals. I just think both are of sufficient moral value to not be hunted. So in the same way, a $5 bill is worth more than a $3 bill, but both are of sufficient value to buy something worth $1. So I think humans are more important. I just simply think that both animals and humans are of sufficient moral value to not be hunted. So my question would be this. It's a logical consistency check, right? So you think it's justified to hunt, we'll go with deer so we can be specific, to hunt deer, but you want, I'm, I mean, I'm assuming this is, I'm not even going to ask, I know, I know you would find it wrong to go out and start hunting humans. So that means there's a morally relevant difference between humans and deer that would justify hunting deer, but not humans. So what is that difference? Is it because they're of lower intelligence than us, like overpopulation? Like what, what do you think is the difference that justifies um, hunting deer, but not humans? 
Um, so honestly, I do not hunt. I personally do not ever want to hunt because I can't bring myself to kill anything. It can be even it's a really bug. hard. It's, like, it's really hard. Yeah, I can't kill a bug. You, like, so, you sound like a vegan. Join the dark side, Sarah. Come on. I know. So <laughs> I go back and forth with this a lot, honestly, um, because there's a part of me that knows that like if we're going into religion, which I don't know if you want to do. But like, um, I'm I'm not religious at all. But if you are, that's fine, and I can talk to you about religion. I I know enough about it to talk with you about. Yeah. It. So like, just like the basis, God made humans to eat animals per se. Mm -hmm. God did not make humans. Um, how do I word this? God didn't make humans here to eat animals and torture them before they eat them. Like mm -hmm. I think that the hunter gatherer is a very natural way of life um instead of factory farming like um so as for like deer being compared to humans on a spiritual level i guess who has a soul mm -hmm. i think that all animals have souls and um i think that they end up in heaven and so eating and torturing these animals is not appropriate but god did give us animals in order to provide us with the proteins necessary for our diets you know and i know that you can get proteins from other places you know yeah, but yeah. Like, just as like a natural in like wildlife instinct animals eat each other we're animals yeah. we eat other animals you know yeah I, I agree animals eat each other but you got to think animals do tons of horrendous things that we wouldn't find justified for us to do just because animals do it right so for instance like lions when they inherit a new pride they actually kill and eat the children of that new pride right so we, yeah. we wouldn't find it justified if i were to like break up with my wife get with another girl I, we wouldn't find it justified for me to like kill and eat her children like just because animals do it right like animals non-human animals do tons of like horrendous things to each other that i don't think is justified for us to do just because animals do it all right we don't like dictate or base our morality off of like what animals do so yeah that's just what i would say to that i i, I by the way i'm not trying to be like a cocky smart ass i feel like that's I feel like that sounded like no, I was being like a smart ass. I swear, I swear I'm not. I just don't know how else to get my point across. No, you're totally fine. <laughs> okay, um, cool. I understand how like lives can be kind of. Well, I, I try to I try to steer <laughs> away from that because I th I think um that kind of environment doesn't lead to productive conversations, right? And I, like yeah, I don't want people true. to like hate me because that's not a good way of like getting people to go vegan. So. I used yeah. to be like I used to be like that, but I try not to be anymore. I can be like that if somebody wants to come up and be a d bag. I'll, I'll be one back. <laughs> So your whole premise of this is to try and get people to be vegan, to make them stop eating. Yeah, meat. of course. That's my, that's my goal. Do I think that's going to work out in 99% of the cases? No, but for the 1% for the 1% it does, like that's worth it to me because it's something I really care about. Yeah. Well, I think that what you're doing is great. Um I think that your logical thoughts are logical and um it's just i think it just comes down to the individual at that point um what they agree is moral and what's not moral oh of course it does i'm a moral anti-realist so i i think morality is subjective and i it does come down to the individual but that's why i do things like run logical consistency checks to like kind of show demonstrate to people that like rejecting veganism either leads you to a a contradiction or b kind of like an absurd an absurdity so that's like how that's how i deal with that i guess yeah so um as for like this live and trying to spread the news about being vegan and or eating meat more ethically, I think that instead of just saying like you can't justify eating animal products, you can sort of educate people on if they're going to continue eating meat, which nine, you said 99% are, you can educate those individuals on how to ethically source their meat and how to ethically um, just aka not torture animals in the process of feeding themselves because right. people... see the, the the issue the issue with that would be i don't think there is an ethical way to kill an animal that doesn't want to die to eat them right i think there's better ways to do it right like uh like we said like maybe uh hunting for instance was probably more ethical than buying from a factory farm but i still think it's unethical because you're still at the end of the day taking an animal's life away right like yeah. say like a free range organic farm like i don't think just the fact that like we gave the animal a happy life first before we killed them i don't think that makes it justified in the same way like i give my dogs a great life like my dogs live better than i do i don't think it's therefore justified for me to just one day like slit their throats and eat them just because i gave them a good life first so i'm an abolitionist i'm against all rights violations to sentient mm -hmm. beings 
thing. So that that would be the issue um, with that. Yeah. I just think that it's hard because people, the 1,000 viewers in here, the like most of them are sitting here saying meat is so good yum 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 oh oh yeah it's a, it's 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 tiktok bro i expect it trust me the bacon yeah. emojis and host l they just they they run wild on tiktok i don't even bother reading the chat <laughs> yeah but like with those comments it's an opportunity for you to try and help the whole concept of animal welfare in the process of explaining how being vegan is like your moral compass you can still educate people on how to better use their money and sources to have a better meat product basically yeah, like, I, I, I guess I that's just that's, that's just like the impasse right as i'm not a welfareist i'm an abolitionist so like i'm yeah. although even though i do like like i said say it's better i'm not ever gonna like fight for that right i'm just gonna um i'm gonna fight for abolition i'm gonna fight against all rights violations to sentient beings even if they're given a good life before they have their throat slit <clears throat> Well, I just really, I think that it would be beneficial to your viewers to educate that so that when they do buy meat, they're buying it ethically. I, I, I disagree, but I, I'm, I'm, that's, you can have that opinion though, that's fine. Okay. Um, right. Thanks for the conversation, Sarah. Yeah, of course. Have a good day. Yep, you too. Take care. You too. <clears throat> I don't know how to leave. <laughs> I, I got you. I got you. I'll kick okay. you. <laughs> See ya. <clears throat> um... Oh, do I do one more? Um, you're asking a crazy person to do something logical? I don't think any of these people are crazy. They've all been very nice and very respectful so far. I'll do one last one, and then I'll probably get to getting. Because I still got to go to jujitsu. I still got to lift. I, I got a lot of shit I got to do. Hey, um, do you want me to call you Keith? Ke I'm sorry, I can't read your full name. Oh, well, my name is Liv. Liv? Yeah. Okay, cool. Liv, what's up? How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm I'm all right. My back's hurting. I'm in an uncomfortable position, but. I'm alive, Chris. My boyfriend thinks I'm talking to another man right now. <laughs> <laughs> you are just not in that way. <laughs> yeah, for real. You're, 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 you, you, yeah, you're about He's to like, debate another man. You probably you could probably hate. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, I tried being vegan when I was in middle school for a while, and I did okay. feel really good. Cool. Um. But it's just incredibly difficult. Like it, I don't know why it's an, it's like an addiction. Like cigarettes. Like I'm on the vape. That's hard for me. It's also extremely expensive. Like all the tofurkey products and and fresh vegetables and stuff. Like it's hard to have fresh produce in the fridge a lot of the time. Yeah. So so for one, like if you try going and vegan in middle school, yeah, that's gonna be extremely difficult. You're like are able to buy your own groceries and stuff like I don't think I could have been vegan in middle school that's really impressive that you even tried to do that but um for two uh like as far as expense goes like yeah if you're if you're buying like mock meats and stuff all the time and like mock like I don't know like vegan quesos like yeah that's going to be more expensive for sure but you got to realize when you look at a picture as a whole it's it's actually cheaper and there's like studies to confirm this there was one out of Oxford I think it said the vegan diet's like 33 percent cheaper and the reason for this is actually when you look at all the cheapest like staple foods available to us they're all vegan like think about it like potatoes oats pasta lentils rice beans these are these are all vegan and um they're like healthy vegan foods too so if you eat a whole foods plant-based diet it's going to be far cheaper than eating um like things like meat and dairy and it's going to be healthier so it's kind of a win-win yeah and i noticed like i honestly feel like crap when i like eat meat like i really do i feel like crap and but yeah, just yeah. like my body cannot break it down right, and I just keep I keep choosing it because it's just I don't know. What would you say is like a good outlet for finding vegan recipes? Okay, so I I think I'm a good person to ask for this, even though I'm a, I'm a really bad cook. I think the number one pe mistake that people make when going vegan is they type in vegan like lasagna or vegan burrito. That's a huge mistake because I don't know why, but it annoys the absolute shit out of me. When you Google vegan recipes, it comes up with the most annoying like long list of like 80 ingredients, takes right. five hours to make it is unbelievable. What you want to do is just eat exactly what you've eaten before. Just replace the animal products for like a plant-based version, right? So like instead of dairy milk, plant milk. Instead of meat, maybe put beans or mushrooms or mock meat. So like you re you eat exactly how you did. You just replace the animal products with vegan products. Does that make sense? 
Right. But it's like like oat milk. Like I started buying oat milk for my son because I was like, if I'm not going to go vegan or I'm not going to try, maybe I'll just try like substituting some things into my son's diet because, you know, I want the best for my son. And I feel like, you know, giving him oat milk was easier on his stomach. And I could see it as a parent. I yeah. could like Absolutely. do diaper changes and stuff like that. The the dairy product would just like absolutely rip up his stomach and I could see it. Yeah, I think um, I can't remember the stat, so I'm not going to quote it. But what I will say is a very high percentage of people are lactose intolerant. Right. And you got to think like, right, like a we're adults. So to be drinking like breast milk is kind of weird because, you know, breast milk's usually intended for like babies, infants. So a on the own, that would be weird. If you saw somebody like drink it like me, like right now I was drinking like human breast milk. You'd be like, bro, you're 27. Why are you doing that? But it's especially weird when you think we're drinking breast milk from another species. So right. not only are we drinking breast milk intended for infants, we're actually drinking breast milk intended for infants of another species. And this is why so many people um, are lactose intolerant and do have problems with dairy products. It, yeah, it makes it, it makes sense. Agree. Like when every time I think about that, I'm like, why are we drinking the nourishment that another like species is? Yeah, like, it's, what? it's weird, dude. It's me out. And so I stopped with milk completely. Like I've managed to stop with milk. But like I have my son drinking. He's three right now. But like okay. immediately after I took him off because I couldn't breastfeed. It was really upsetting. But, you know, we, we move on. We figure out a way. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I did um, a different way, and so now he's on the oat milk, and it just looks like he's processing the food that I give him That's way awesome. better. But yeah, I just want to, I just want to say this is really cool. You know, I'm, I'm always looking to try and pick it up again, and cool. you know, it's great that you're giving advice. Yeah, if you ever have any questions, um, leave a comment or something. I'll, I'll get to you. Yeah, I'm dropping a follow right now. Thank cool. you so much for your time. Yeah, I appreciate it. You have a good one. You too. Bye. All right, guys. Um, I think that's, I think that's it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go off. I still got to go to jujitsu and lift and shit. So yeah, drop a follow guys. If you're interested next time I go live, you can talk to me. Um, go vegan, baby.